Hello, this is Brian Hegney, instructor of game design here at High Point University. This fourth video is about how you t take that URL that you just learned how to copy and submit it to a Blackboard assignment. Again, this is mostly for people in my classes. Uh, this will make my life and maybe your life a little bit easier. So there are a few steps to doing that that I'm just going to cover right now. You're going to go to blogger.com. You'll sign into your blog. In your dashboard view, you will find the blog post that is due. You'll hover your cursor over the entry, click the eyeball view icon. You'll copy that URL from the address bar. We did that last video. And then you're going to find the appropriate Blackboard form assignment and paste it into it just into the form assignment. You're going to highlight the URL you just pasted. You'll click the link button and you're going to add a hyperlink. Now this is how we're going to go and do that. Number one, I'm going to go find my blog. Hey, here is the actual blog post. I'm going to refresh your memory if you can't recall. I'm going to go to blogger.com. I know, I was just looking at it. I just wanted to point that out. There's Introducing Hegney right there. I'm going to hover my cursor over it. Notice I don't see the little view icon, the little eyeball, when I'm not hovered over it, which is why I said to hover over it. Click the view. Highlight this URL. Just left click into it. If you're using Chrome, hit Control C on a Windows, Command C on a Mac. And now we're going to go to Blackboard. I am going to... Yeah, I'll go to Blackboard. So I'm going to go to highpoint.edu. This is how I get to Blackboard, people. I don't know how you get to Blackboard. This is how I get to Blackboard. Scroll down to the bottom. Click Blackboard under My HPU. Um, click Sign In. Username and password. Put that in. Sign in. I'm going to go to my courses. And maybe... 2020 fall would be a good one. I'm going to go to 11.13.01. And I'm going to go to my blog forums. I have a forum one called Composition. I'm going to click on that. There's example blog posts. Now it's possible you go to one where there's nothing. Okay, maybe I'll do that instead. I'll go to a different class. I think in animation for video games, I'm not sure... Yeah, there's nothing here. So that's what it looks like if, you, if you're if you the first one. Congratulations. You're going to create a thread. And I am going to say, for the subject, say Hegney's introduction. And under here, I'm going to paste the URL to the blog. Now, it looks like this pasted the link. And it's possible it won't is the thing. It looks like it's hyperlinked already. Some of you won't have a hyperlink, so I'm actually going to kind of delete that. Um, I, don't delete it. If yours had a hyperlink, that's perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep it there. If you have it hyperlinked, you could say submit, and then when someone goes to it, this will be hyperlinked. I can click on it, and it'll take me to the blog. But I don't like to do this within Blackboard. Notice I have this weird Blackboard interface. I'm not actually... I'm going through Blackboard as a portal. So I'm going to tell you a better way of doing that. So I'm going to edit my post. Okay. I'm going to select this. Um, and I'm going to click the Insert Edit link again. And this little window pops up. And this has the link path, should have the actual path. But the only difference I'm going to do is I'm going to change target to open in new window blank. And say update. OK, and I'm going to click submit. And when you do that, it just means it's going to open up in a new tab. It actually won't open up a new window. It's going to open up in a new tab. And what I learned from web developers is these are different windows. We just call them tabs. They're tabbed windows is what they are. OK. There we go. But guess what? I'm just going to show you what you do. If, um, if when you paste it in, 
it doesn't have a link. Let's say it looks like that. There's no underlined, it's not blue. Well, guess what? If you pasted it here, well, I guess number one, you should make sure it's really the right HTML or the right URL, because maybe there is a problem with it and that's why it didn't hyperlink. But if it's the right hyperlink um, and it's not hyperlinked automatically, watch what happens when you submit it. You can't click on it. It's not hyperlinked, right? Now, if you're using Chrome, it doesn't matter. I just select it, right click, and go to. Choose go to. And it'll do that. So that's no problem. But you know what? Let's be really nice to everybody and make this a hyperlink. Just again, by highlighting this. And if you have the right URL to begin with, you've already got it in your clipboard. Um, but if you lost it in the process, hit Control C again or Command C. Click the little chain right there. There's a little chain link icon. Um, if you don't see these icons, it could be because Blackboard has them hidden. So this little double arrow stuff might have hidden. No, look, there's there's a chain right there. Not even hidden. Okay. Uh, so I didn't even need to do that. So there's the chain, and I'm going to hit Control V to paste that URL in again. And then make sure I target this to a new window. Blank. Um, by the way, that blank that actually means new window. So this is, um, if you are writing this just in HTML, you would, you would have typed in blank. I don't know why they do that. Insert. And then submit. And now it's a URL again. You click on it, it opens up in a new tab. Yay! That's it. Um, in the next video, I think we will be looking at leaving comments for peers. But no, I don't have that anymore. So we're done. That's it. Um, have a wonderful night. I look forward to seeing your blog posts. Bye.